hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet please to make sure that you subscribe hit that notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first one to know don't forget to like share and comment my videos it really helps me a lot firstly guys i just want to thank you for the love and support that you're showing me thank you thank you so much Today we want to talk about Olinda Chapel Nkomo, okay? We all know that she is the CEO and the founder of uh, Gain Healthcare. So she started recruiting people all over the country, if I'm not mistaken, including Zimbabweans as well, recruiting them to the first world country uh, through Gain Healthcare. So there is a lady by the name Eve Dube Udechuku. She came out, uh, she actually put her story to group Facebook, Runonze V11 scam alert late achiti olinda chapel has come there and also we must be aware as zimbabweans because this business is not legit and uh olinda she's a scam and then olinda she came to reply and she said i really hate it when i have to do this you claimed i scammed you yet your name has been submitted to the ho Companies do not have control over the time it takes for applications to be processed, especially with the Ukraine refugees having uh, priority. Sometimes patience is important. And then you lie that they has T been communication, yet you were been told the very same thing every week. UK relatives stop abusing Hamadzenu just because Madzibatsira. Now I'm having to deal with a very depressed young lady whose mental health is now affected by your lies and actions. Yeah, that's what she said. Actually, she is saying Kuti, this lady who came out saying that she has been scammed is actually Tete Vemuskana Aifana Kuyenda ku uk so what happened is uh she is now saying kuti uh teta will take advantage because zukuru. now she is coming out putting her names all over social media now this lady is depressed i think under pressure kuti zonita kakubatsira and things are not working out and this is um a scam olinda has been scamming you saka inini guys ka she then did a live video, Olinda being Olinda, with that lady, the same lady uh, that was supposed to come to the UK. So this lady was crying and she was just breaking down on, uh, on that live. And she said, could you please take down my name? This is not good for me and I'm not okay. I have been, uh, I haven't been eating for days. There is a pressure that is coming from her side. So uh, guys... Uh, to be honest with you, doing my research about gain healthcare, let me be honest, gain healthcare is, uh, they can uh, apply visas, they can take people in the UKs, they are allowed to do that, their website is all over and um, <clears throat> it's not like good, they are a scam. What I really don't know, Kuti, is this particular patient, um, because I cannot stand and say, Kuti, this lady is lying because she know what has been going through, uh, what was been going on, na Olinda Wacho. But what I really don't know, Kuti, did Olinda actually explain to her because on her live video she came out and say um it's it takes like six weeks if i'm not mistaken about the actual uh weeks that she mentioned but she said it takes like six weeks but now it's now taking more than six weeks like almost three months because of the um, refugee russian what 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 ukraine whatsoever but what i really don't know could did she really explain to this uh ude chuku lady could he, uh you know what because of this and this the processes they are now taking longer than we expect so you have to be patient what not what not what not that i don't know but knowing olinda very well uh, she's a professional lady i guess um she is not the one who uh received calls and, and whatsoever but this lady claimed goody i was receiving calls straight from olinda she has been communicating with olinda so i really don't know what olinda come explain it and this lady arku claim good maria got to query it was i got to go to mario guys to be honest with you 
toxic relatives they are there but in this case i don't want to take sides and i don't want to say uh this is a toxic uh, aunt and uh olinda is say is telling the truth cannot olinda is lying and avatetawa is she's just toxic because to be honest at soon as and that girl akaitwa uh, nae live video she didn't even say much she was just crying she was actually breaking down and these are some of the comments uh of what people were saying under post ya olinda ya aka post achi respond to to the scammer late uh post ya kaitwa na anti vim scanner un so guys ga what do i think about this whole situation number one i feel like it was um a situation of miscommunication because uh if mkazwi dai akauzo kuti this process takes more than three months she could have been patient enough do i think could olinda is a scam and uh, no Olinda, Anne is a successful business, and uh, I don't think that she can put herself in that situation. You could see a no risk business, like. But at the same time, you don't know. You never know. I was even good to moon. I know funga say. Guys, in a case you go to Olinda Chape or Akatso Tsamukadzu, guys, it happens. It's normal. Olinda Chape is a human being. A moon or Akango Fanani so saga. Olinda Chapel is now put on a post yekuti. She no longer recruits uh, Zimbabweans. Uh, Bachaita is Jojo. Though um, gain healthcare, it's a quanisa who recruit people in Zimbabwe, but she feel like Zimbabweans, they are too much. And now she started putting on my testimony. Zevan Vaka recruit Vakaenda Kunzene Gelnyotko. Yeah, guys, that's it that I have today. Until next time. Bye for now.